What is up, boy? Do you guys smash? And I'm back with another V I D E O video. V I D E O video. V I D E O. It's a video. It's a video brought to you by your girl. And I'm back with another V I D E O video. Hold on. Got my book because I figure I'm gonna need it because I want to stay on track. Loser. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but um, yeah. Y'all probably be like, oh, she hype today. Yes, I'm hype because we finna get into these topics, okay? We finna get into these topics, okay? We finna do this. We finna do this. I got so much. Oh, my gosh, I got so much. Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 Hmm. So, let's see. Because I write a lot of stuff down because I love to chat. And I even wrote down some things that I've already spoken on before. And I just feel like, you know, it needs to be a video made for it because so much happens and it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Y'all, I'm looking because you can never get enough of too many, too, too, too many, too, 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 too many ideas. Y'all, I done found it, but I'm flipping because I don't want to talk about it. Forget about it. I'll talk about it. Okay, so this is basically what I'm talking about. Basically, today is called playing your role. The difference between playing your role and being foolish. And we're just going to get that out the way. I was supposed to get this out before 2020 ended, but that's okay. We can go ahead and talk about it now because I'm in a, I'm in a great space. I'm in a bright space. And remember, like, holding malice and urges and stuff like that is not good. And remember, love y'all know the verse love something a multitude multitude, multitude of sins y'all get what i'm trying to say like just just love with another one another because love does a lot you know but evil person that that is, has been evil and just finds love turns out to be a really good okay person so remember that but okay exalt love is awesome no, covers i don't know y'all covers y'all know, know mama okay basically i'm about to explain it for example say you and a person have been talking or are together or want to be together or this at the third i don't know what you did <laughs> but just say that y'all want to be together and all of a sudden this person is confused on what they want now mind you this person is all of a sudden confused on what they want after they've seen your four seasons. And it could be the fact that they didn't even see your four seasons yet, but they just feel like ah, she out of here or he's out of here. But the funny thing is the fact that the people that want us, that chase us down, that freaking cry for us, metaphor, like... They apply pressure in the beginning and then all of a sudden when they got us where they want us and then we finally let up and let them in and be like, I guess so, or I like you too. We stray from our standards a little bit because it's like I set this standard and this person doesn't meet it, but all of a sudden they're applying pressure. So I'm going to knock these off real quick and focus on what they're talking about because maybe, maybe something can be different. And it's not even the fact that we just switch our standards for a little bit. It's the fact that we forget what to tolerate and what we don't. When, you're, when you've been fighting with a person, when you've been trying to get this person to understand things, when you've been trying to get this person to realize that you are not one of them, when you've been trying to um, put your all with this person or, or do this or show them that, look, you're loyal, you can stress yourself out like that when you get 0% back. Like I said, people don't want to feel like they're the bad guy. So when you tell them this, they're not going to listen to you at first. They're going to be like, oh, okay. Like, like, man, you tripping. That's exactly what they're going to tell you. And it's like, if you can't take helpful criticism, if you can't take me telling you exactly, like, I'm not telling you what's wrong with you. I'm not telling you anything that's wrong with you. But I'm telling you, you're treating me this way that you don't see and I don't like it. I don't appreciate that. So what are you going to do different? Oh, well, I'm going to change this and I'm going to change that. And even if they don't say they're going to change anything, but they actually do, that's actual effort. A person that doesn't care is a person that's going to take what you say and continue to do them while they know that it's driving you crazy and while they know that you're not going to leave them because you have hope to be with that person. And I feel like it's a difference because we see people in relationships that get dark. <coughs> 
I'ma say it like Dwayne. They treat you like a dog. Like for real. It's not funny to be embarrassed publicly, to be mentally humiliated. It's not funny to be chained to this person, to have soul ties. And these words like entanglements and soul ties and toxic, why the freak would you want to be in a toxic relationship? Like, do y'all just like the way that it sounds? Toxic, poison, those are things that will kill you. And y'all want to be a part of that. That's something that I don't understand. Like, and some of y'all may be like, you know, <laughs> we toxic. No, y'all not toxic. Y'all are complicated. Y'all are an actual relationship. Y'all go through things like normal people. Y'all are not toxic. Like, that's not being toxic. Oh, this person's toxic. You know this person is toxic. You're you're speaking that this person is toxic. You're speaking that your relationship is toxic. You're speaking that you want a toxic relationship. You think that poisonous and things that are going to mentally kill you aren't going to come for you. I don't I don't understand that. Make it make sense. Leave, please, Lord Jesus. Please leave. The word entanglements. I dog, I should have said to somebody. Please leave the word entanglements back in 2020. Leave, leave it in there. Do not take it to 2021 because y'all, for one, y'all using the word completely wrong. Let's get that out of the way. Y'all y'all using the word completely wrong. Y'all talking about y'all want entanglements with people like that you just, oh, we in entanglement. What the? Stop saying that. One, no. Like it was these, it was it was these YouTubers talking about some entanglement. Like, bro, that's 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 why y'all not friends no more. Cause y'all keep calling y'all stuff an entanglement. If you don't know what to call y'all, call call you and a person's relationship. Cause cause literally, like you have relationships with everybody you meet. Literally, people think that the word relationship only applies to people that's with with each other, and it doesn't. You know. Like, like, yeah, we have friendships and parentships and, and kidships. Like, what? No, you have relationships with everybody. What's your relationship with this person? You know, nobody is nobody's going to ask you, what's your friendship with this person? Like, what? They're going to ask you, what's your relationship with, with this person? Like, what's your deal when it comes to this person? Stop using entanglements. That's disgusting. It's weird. Like, y'all think just because, um... Jada and Will said it that oh it, now y'all all of a sudden it makes sense. Did y'all even look up the word entanglement before y'all started using it? No, y'all jumped on it. Y'all jumped on the wagon just like y'all always do. Dr. And like what? Stop. And so that's oh Jesus, just just stop using that. And um, what else I say? I say it's toxic entanglement. What was the what was another word? I forgot what the other word was. Y'all tell me. But other, other than that, it's it's a difference. It's not funny when you see a person being humiliated because what if that was you? What 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 would you? And then y'all are quick to say, "Oh, that can never be me," until it is you. Like you're the one that's going through this and that with a person that's not good for you. But I will never understand this about me. I will never. I don't think it's my business. Like, if, if I see you changing because of a person, then that's then that's one thing. Like, never change your personality and don't cross me for somebody else. Don't do that. Because I will speak on that. But it's the fact that whatever you and a person got going on is y'all business. I have no room to judge y'all relationship because I don't know what it was that y'all went through before it got to this toxic point. You know what I'm saying? It's never our business why somebody continues or still mess with somebody after they done did them dirty, after they done cheated on them. Because they see things that we don't see. These celebrities, these these public figures, these influencers, they go through things that we don't see. They allow us to see these things and we are so quick to judge and jump on the wagon and do this and do that. Oh, you can't believe that. Like, and sometimes it just be for entertainment. It just be for clout. It just be, for, be because their career is falling off and they need something else to jump it back up. Literally. And it's sad. Like, you falling for tricks when it comes to money. You're degrading yourself when it comes to money. When I say degrading, I'm not talking about stripping. You do what you gotta do. I don't care. I'm talking about degrading yourself, like degrading your beliefs because you want this and that and three. Listen here, I will never, ever, and, and I know y'all gonna be like, well, you say this now, but let somebody drop a billion. I will never trade my mind, my sanity for a piece of paper with another man's face on it, ever. I just won't do that because I'd rather have my sanity 
I can have what I have today and have it be gone tomorrow. For real, for real. Thank you just because a person stays with a person that they dumb and that's not what it is a lot of times that's not what it is and sometimes people just be like y'all playing the game doing what you do oh i think you're gonna cheat on me so in order for me for me to not get that l i'm gonna cheat just in case and then oh you didn't cheat on me so now i look like i'm the bad guy i don't understand that at all i've never been a type to cheat just in case I've never cheated, really, to be honest. I don't care how bad you treated me. I'm not about to do the same thing that you do to me. I'm not about to cheat just in case. I'm not about to put myself out there to the people that I know don't give a crap about me. Like, what in the world? I look like being on a rebound. That's why people don't understand why I'm still single. I'm good. <laughs> let me get it straight. I'm good. Okay, let me get it out of the way. I'm good, okay? Comes to relationships and people, I see things that people don't see. It's not even on the creepy, oh my gosh, like she's a witch. Like, no, I see things that people don't see because I sit back and observe and I listen to what you taught me. And if I don't like what you're selling, I'm not about to be with you. Point blank like that. I call out stuff when I see it, just like that. Do you like it or not? I think it's important for us to understand when we first meet somebody. Like, yes, this is my standard. And yes, he meets the standard, but now he's falling off. I'm not saying, like, compliment me, call me, text let me know that i'm yours okay and i'm good for real for real because listen whether you play your role with me or not i will always play my role i will never ever ever do you wrong and that's what people don't understand about me is the fact that baby it's the difference between being foolish and playing your role baby i'm not foolish i saw it before it happened trust and believe what you think i didn't find out i found out very clearly and i may not have found out at the time that i should have at the time that i needed it to but it's all in god's time and i have accepted that and i'm cool on that and i'm cool on you and that's exactly how we have to think but like i said a lot of people don't think like me and it's not the fact that i want you to but it's the mindset that I have grown and taught myself to have when it comes to people in general, not just relationships. It's somebody that I want to be with. Literally, people that I know will or will not to benefit me. For real, for real. But one last thing I want to say, and I cannot stress this enough. It is not funny when somebody is getting publicly humiliated. Do you know, I was talking on the phone with some friends of mine and I mentioned up a dude and his girlfriend. And the first thing that somebody did was laugh and say that girl just don't know. Like, do you know how humiliating that is? That's one thing I never want for myself. And it may happen, but I really hope that it doesn't. And that's why I'm careful that I walk the way that I talk and who I choose to be with, who I choose to be around. Cause you're not about to laugh at me. You could talk about me and do all this other stuff because I don't be doing nothing. It really don't matter. I don't put my business out there for y'all to ruin. Just like Malala said. Like, I don't do that. The fact that you're laughing at me because I'm with somebody that I care about, who cares about me, who has been showing love to me, who has been making me feel affectionate, who has been um, sleeping with me, who I see every day, who is the last person I talk to at night. But when it comes to these people, I know for a fact he or she don't worry about them. They're still with me at the end of the day. And that's how a lot of y'all think, which is understandable. You're like, shoot, I'm the one he's with. I'm at his house and you're not and that's why you're mad he's with me and you're upset because he's not with you and the other girls gonna be like oh but he's texting me so what do you do obviously you need to put him on a leash and that's not how we should think and girls are so quick to jump at the female dudes are so quick like bro check your partners because i'm telling you they not coming out the blue for no reason they probably gonna come out the blue when y'all first get together because that's exactly how these how these leeches roll. And so it's first first when y'all get together, where was all these people when I was single? Now y'all see I'm doing good by somebody y'all wanna come back. Basically, how the game go. And they wanna test your loyalty. As soon as you mess up, oh, what they gonna do? Taste the messages, taste that video to the person that you messing with. I told myself I want to have an understanding. I want to have the relationship with somebody. So when somebody want to come with us with crap, we look at each other, we get it together, and we have an understanding. Ain't no lies, ain't no sneakiness, ain't no nothing. Well, how how do you expect for this person to be honest with you if all this, all this stuff is going on? 
That's where trust come in. A lot of us can't trust, and that's understandable. But just because you feel like you can't trust doesn't mean that you are not able to. You choose who you want to trust. And even if you trust nobody, you still act the way you act. You still walk the way you walk. You make these people believe that you can trust them. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the way I see it. I ain't going to tell y'all what I told my mom, but that's literally the way that I see it, for real, for real. Anybody can switch up on you at any time. Put anything in their face. Put their weakness in their face and watch them switch. Just like that. So I understand. You can't open up. You can't trust everybody. But I have going on with a person will always be my business. I never understood anybody who felt the need to hide. That's the number one red flag. If they try, if they try to even hide you and talk about it, y'all ain't discussed it. Y'all ain't discuss what it's gonna be. Look, I always wanted to know when I was with somebody. Look, what it is and what it's not, because I don't have time to be playing. I don't care about people knowing about us. But if we in private right now and working on ourselves or public, but we private, like, because I'm gonna always be public and private for real, for real. Is the fact that, oh, I'm gonna be a dog in the street, but you want a home cooked meal when it comes to me. Like, no, what do I look like? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And then it also be the people that just. I have to talk about this while while I'm talking about this because I just have to and I have to get out of the way because because it's like gross. It's, why are y'all so quick when it comes to other people in a relationship? Y'all are so quick to just butt in. Like, make it your business to let that person know exactly everything that that person did to you. Just because the person did this to you does not mean they're going to do that to somebody else because the person that really wants to be with you, that really loves you, that really cares for you, that wants to understand you, that really studies you is not going to put you through all of that. Someone who really just got you for the side and got you for the moment gonna put you through all of that. And we always like, oh, I could change him. No, I don't, I, I really do not believe that you can change anybody you have to want the change for yourself something in you has to tap in and be like man i don't want to do this no more and it's not even the person that you meet oh she changed me no 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 it's not the fact that they changed you as a person it's the fact that they tapped in and showed you exactly what could be or what it was and that is what made you say in your, that is what made that light click on in your brain and make you say I want to change. I want to change for you. This person didn't change you. You changed for yourself. They basically just were support. That's basically what it was. You got with this person. Because if you hadn't met this person, you would still been doing the same thing. So that person didn't change you. Like, nobody changes anybody except really that's pretty much how i see it but why are we always quick to just just let this person know look i don't care what you did in your past just don't bring your past to our table be so quick to be like oh your dude was in my da -da 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 -da. did this he did that and i'm just like you know how stupid you sound that expired moment that you're talking about that happened between you and somebody else you really think that counts right now you really think i care about it? Y'all doing it in the backseat? You really think that I care about you being at his house doing whoop whoop? <laughs> no, I don't. Not, once, not when I'm one bit, because that had nothing to do with me. I didn't know him back then. I know him now. I know the person that I'm with now. He's not studying. So, and if he is, well, shoot, take him. Matter of fact, you don't have to take him, because I'm going to leave. And he probably going to go to you anyway. And will he try to come back? Yeah, but that door will be closed, man. Nobody makes the same mistake twice. I don't believe that. Oh, you slipped up. Oh, she caught you at the wrong time. Oh, he caught you at the wrong time. Like, oh, that's somebody you work with? Like, the first time should have taught you one thing. But now you playing with me. And you got to go. But yeah, stop, stop blaming, stop blaming these people. Like, yeah, people are controlling their lives. Sometimes it, it takes a person. Like manip manipulation is real. It's a psychological thing when it comes to toxic relationships, when it comes to manip uh, manipulation, when it comes to um, people talking all this good stuff, talking a real good game and not being about the action. For real, for real. You know what I can't stand? Somebody who don't know how to be themselves. That's what I can't, that's, that's, that's what I can't stand. If you don't know yourself, how the world you gonna be with me? For real, for real. I don't, I don't want no fugazi type dude or girlfriend. I don't want that. No, who really wants that? I'm 
like what no continue to be yourself so that when we get together we can grow and build and the part hey the people that we was a year ago the people that knew us a year ago not gonna know us today why because we elevated because we moved forward because we're doing exactly what we need to do Stop worrying about all these people for first. Stop worrying about these people being nosy in your relationship for one. Because if you keep worrying about these people being nosy in your relationship, y'all will never grow. Remember that. For real, for real. Like, people gonna talk. People gonna do this. People gonna do that. What What are you worried about these people for? That, are, that, don't, that don't even care about us. Honestly. Literally. They want to be nosy. That, that that's the thing and y'all be y'all be quick to say you know i'm not gonna post nothing i'm not gonna post my boo because people love to intervene people love to get in the way post your boo and then go go <laughs> like literally promise you when you get back your phone gonna be like this your phone gonna be like this your social media gonna be up and running but that's okay though because what's understood don't have to be explained to nobody point blank like that and that's how i see it that's that's what i always say for real for real I used to tell a dude this. I used to say, if they ever ask about me, tell them what's understood don't gotta be explained. Hey, and you used to say that. And that's just that. Cause it's like, 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 yeah, we was friends, but we knew what we wanted. Circumstances at the time, it wasn't it. People would see him walking me in the hallways and stuff like that. And so they would ask about us, like, don't you go with him? Be like, was understood and gotta be explained. And that's I, that's what I would tell them. They would be like, yeah, mind your business. You in my business. Don't do that. That's just how it is. Y'all gotta learn. But yeah, remember the difference between playing your role and being a fool. So, checkmate. But yeah, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on my post notifications so that y'all do know when I post click that bell. I just wanted to get this topic out of the way. I just wanted to get this conversation out of the way. I don't want to speak on none of this no more. Like none of this. For for this is out. This is the reason why I can speak on it now and feel nothing. Cause for real. Like this is speaking from experience. This is speaking for real, for real. I done talked about this a little too, too much on my channel and I don't like that. So yeah. Cause it's sad. The year ain't back, but yeah, do another day, live another day, live life to the very fullest. Have a wonderful and marvelous new year. God bless you. Stay prayed up. I love y'all, and we out of here.